my channel, I'm Wari Crossing and today we're dreaming of the wonderful island of Higurashi which in Japanese either means from morning to evening, dawn to dusk, or it can mean evening cicada, so that's really interesting. So this island is by the wonderful Moringa and I'm really excited because I really love her feed. Um, I've been following her for a little while now and she's incredibly talented. Oh my god, there's so many presents. Normally I start with the map and start from the entrance but let's first off have a look at what these are oh wait was that a rock <laughs> i'm sure it's fine there <laughs> already amazed at what's around oh my god every time Ooh, a cherry blossom pochette pochette how do you say that word <laughs> i actually don't know hello kitty shoes And denim pants. Okay. Let me see this. Ooh, immediately love that. <laughs> or I guess we could go for a Hello Kitty tea. That's very cute. Or oh, is that that's to go with this, right? Is this the look? Is this it? Is this the look? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with this. To the airport. Okay, I made it to the entrance and with all of my items. And let's have a look at that map. Okay, Moringa is there. So we have, oh, she only has herself. Very interesting. And uh, we have Zucker, Rudy, Marina, Maple, Anka, Sky, Coco, Chelsea, Toby, and Marty. Lovely. A bunch of really, really super cuties. Why didn't I look at the map properly? Um, so, wow, it looks very, like, quite flat, but a lot of pathing work done, clearly. And the waterwork looks beautiful. If you want to dream along with me, there's the dream address just there at the bottom, and I'll put it in the description too, along with her incredible Instagram. Please go check her out. She's just incredibly talented. And by the way, I guess I haven't talked about the island theme. Um, it's a Japanese style island um, with a lot of kind of rural elements, which, you know, I love. <laughs> so I'm really, really, really excited to have a look at what she's done with the dream address. And yeah, so let's begin. Oh my god, immediately. Look at this! It looks so simple, but so, so beautiful. I love, love, love the use of this kind of weed. Definitely the perfect kind of weed for this. Is this the autumn or the summer weed? I'm not sure. And you've got a little bus stop, I think, <laughs> in all of this bamboo with a waterfall behind. And I love the use of the sand. So we've got like a, a sand road, which I've never seen before like this. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And we've go straight into a farm. Always go to the left, that's always my way anyway. And again, another place where you can lie in the rice paddies. Oh my god, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. I love... Th this must be autumn, right, with this green of the grass. It looks beautiful. I love this pumpkin patch. This is Marty's house? Out on a snack run, of course. Classic Marty. Yeah, this is so beautiful! We have that sort of run-down beach with someone kind of chilling here. Oh! I'm not allowed into that area. Yeah, let me see if I can get around the edge. There we go. <laughs> That's a better view of it. We've got some ducks hanging out by the sea. This is so beautiful. Like really simple, like bold colours, and again the use of shoes, which I've recently discovered, and totally 100% the number one underrated item, I guess, is the tiny coconut tree! It's so cute! <laughs> so, so cute. Um, yeah, and I love, love, love this little farm area down here. And we go back into... Wow, like an apple? shop an apple farm wow i love the mum cushions 
is a farm item. I should definitely use those in the future. That's amazing. And I love these boxes. It gives it such a reedy look. And that's a really clever use of the... Um, I've seen the bunk beds used in so many different ways, especially in towns and things like that. But I really like how she's used them as a shelf as well as a sort of just frame. It's so beautiful. And then we've got this little bridge here. Go to the right. Whose house is this? Marina's house. She's got a lovely lake outside her house. Oh, and there's a little area to fish over there. Wait, can I see this lake from a different area? Also love the cornucopia here. Oh, so we can... Wait. Can we see it? Ah, okay, so let's have a look this way. Ah, here's the view of the lake. Ah, this is so pretty. I love it when people use the swings as um, makeshift fencing. It works so, so well. Oh, look, there's like the texture here of some cracks in the sand. I love the look of the sand. Oh my god! People have done so many awesome laundry areas recently, I swear. So many amazing laundry areas. And look, I love how this goes from like grass, the same kind of like sandy area, but like, or mud? I don't know. From grass into sand. It's so seamless. Wow, this is so beautiful. Wow, <laughs> this is all. I just. speechless, honestly. I was almost expecting that to be. The same as um, Tomioka um, having a pitfall seed in there. I was a bit scared for a second. But yeah, oh, this is so beautiful. I love the use of the different kind of sizes of bamboo and all the bushes. The paving is so beautiful. Wow. Oh, we're already back to resident services. I just wanted to point out also, look at her little flag. It's so cute. Little panda in the bamboo. Adorable. Well, apparently we've hit a time, uh, something o'clock, and we've got, of course, it wouldn't be Japan without a vending machine in the middle of somewhere. <laughs> okay, and back we go, and another vending machine area. And is this Maple's house? Must be. So she's got a lovely area to eat outside her house, another lovely laundry area. I love the laundry items, they look incredible. And again, we've got like the custom path on in-game path. I don't know why I never thought of using this like this. I know a lot of people do it. Wow, this looks so pretty. Someone else's house here. Anka's house. I did not know what it looked like on the outside. It looks so pretty. Got basketball here and a little... Air oh, we came from this way before. Wow, I didn't realize... Look at this! This is a cricket. Or a grasshopper, grasshopper, that's what it is. Wow, I love, love, love this area. With the little... <laughs> we've got um, a bell cricket there? I love the cages of the crickets and the grasshoppers. And I love this background design of like a kind of temple -y area behind this advertisement. Aesthetically it works so well. And look at this. I can't believe everyone uses the same items and they just look so different. Like the wedding items that I looked on on my last tour, which was of a European town. They use the wedding items, but like just it just looks so different. And we've got the new um, Easter items there as well. And some sort of like matcha strawberry like log here. Oh my god, my mouth's watering already. I'm so hungry now. And we've got another laundry area. Beautiful, beautiful. And a little pumpkin area here as well. I didn't realize you could plant pumpkins on the sand. That's so cool. I wonder if you dug up um, like a fully formed pumpkin, whether it would plant on here or not. Gonna experiment later. <laughs> Puts on scientist glasses. <laughs> and you got a little ukulele here, a little fishing area. Okay, we've been to this part before. Yes, the apple farm down there. Orchard, as most people would call it, not an apple farm. <laughs> I know what I'm saying, totally. And we go across this little bridge. Oh, this is so rustic, I love it. 
Love, love, love it. Um, wow, I wonder what that poster is of. Some sort of movie poster? And uh, Oh, we can go in this way. I thought there was a different way in. Wow, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. We've got a little um, football area, soccer area here. And another lake with a little lighthouse and a bunch of fishing areas with we've got are these the pond pond bugs <laughs> I know what I'm saying we've got someone else's house here clearly loves their sport a jock or someone Rudy yes a little jock boy I love Rudy so cute I love this so much. I love this sand path. It just looks so good. I need more sand on my island. Wow, this is so beautiful. Uh, got two campsite areas, one to the left there, with the actual campsite here to the right, and sort of overgrown, I guess, parking area here? Bike stand area? Can we go to the left here? Oh, it's back here. Okay, sorry. I'm all over the place today. I apologize. Wow. I want to stay here on this futon. Kind of bugs me though that I lie on top of the futon rather than going inside it, you know? It just looks so fluffy. I love the um, gingham design here and the pearls. I never thought of using pearls as decoration. So pretty. Such a relaxing little spot. You could just eat your lunch and your donuts. Can I go back this way? No, okay. <laughs> Let's just make our way around here. Past the vending machines again. I love these little um, trees, stunted trees again. Uh, I love just areas of green. I need to remember that you can just put like fences and walls down and you can just put green behind it and it looks so good. Oh, so, so pretty. But this is the back of the lake that was just there. Wow. Love the ocean view here. So beautiful. That kind of a makeshift like river mouth here. I wish that we could get river mouths to the back, that would be really cool. And of course we have nooks! Wow! Everything's just so perfect. I love, love, love the clutter. It's like clutter core, but Japanese clutter core? I don't know, it looks so pretty. And here's the secret beach. Got a little ramen stand here. You don't, if you want to know, the Japanese just literally says ramen. On these beautiful little lanterns. Lovely. Ooh, I like the use of this as like a platform. That's so cool. I'm definitely gonna use this somewhere. I love it, I love it, love it. And we have another area with some more advertisements and just items. And yay, I love the umbrellas. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, <laughs> I love the crabs and we've got sardines. So there's some sort of fishery maybe? or market area, or at least where people are storing their fish. And look at these, we've got some, is that bananas? Yeah, bananas in like paper bags and an empty paper bag here. Wow, this is so pretty. I love this, this almost looks like temple, like overrun, overgrown temple style slates. That's so pretty. I'll have one please. <laughs> I'd love to have some ramen. Maybe I should put the leaf away. Maybe it's getting in the way. Here we go. <laughs> ah, this is so pretty and winding and just so beautiful. I like this octopus. I think he needs a bit more space there. Have I missed something back here? Hang on. Because it looks like that way is going to keep going that way. Let me have a look at the map. I don't know which way to go! Okay, we're gonna go this way and then we'll work our way back to the back, I think. So pretty. So pretty. I love this kind of like hill thing here with all the 
different bushes on it again. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> How many times am I going to say beautiful in this video? Uh, you guys can count. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here's two more. <laughs> that was three. Oh my god. Anyway. Wow. I love this. All so simple. Not saying that it didn't take a lot of hard work or like skill. It definitely, definitely did. But like, I love the simplicity of everything. It's just so beautiful. Oh, there's Anka. Hi, Anka. <laughs> wow. Whose house is this? Chelsea. Well, I didn't know her house looked like that. It's interesting. Sorry, Anka. Just going to pass you by. Oh, what's up here? Mysteries. Ooh, a little like lookout point. I'm loving her lookout so far. This is so beautiful. Uh, so that we've seen that area before, but it's a different angle of it. Got some firecrackers here. Can I light them? Oh, I can! <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's so cool! I didn't know that you could light them on Dream Islands. That's so, so cool. This would be so cool at night. I wonder if that was the reason or just because they were good at decoration. <laughs> I'm not sure, but this is so beautiful. Wait, have we been to this area? Yeah, this is Mayfall's house. Yes. Okay, so we're back to the front here. And whose house is this? Have a look on the map. I recognize it. Zucker's <gasps> house, of course! He's been on my island. Wow! Zucker's got a little like tree station here. He's got a little like tiny pumpkin farm. Oh, look at this! Got, oh my god, is this a graveyard? <gasps> Sorry, I love graveyards. <laughs> Especially like Japanese ones look just so interesting and oh look at this. Maybe this will take us back to where we were before. Wow. No, this isn't close. <laughs> but this is incredible. Just the use of like the stone and like stone paths. It's just the colours. We've got like browns and greens and whites and greys. Oh <laughs> look, there's some offerings left, um, some peaches. Awesome. Left by family members, I assume? Because in Japan, I don't know about your country, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, but there's like family graves, so I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but like each of the like wooden sticks is a person, so each of the stone things are like a family grave. And you come to the family grave and you give offerings for different family members at different times of year and like um just on like anniversaries of deaths are really important in Japan and um, that kind of thing like certain numbers that you celebrate certain things when someone has died for a certain amount of years and things like that anyway wow this is so beautiful the museum entrance I love how run down it looks love it <laughs> we've got um, a beautiful little bridge here I love how she does this she just kind of uses it almost as a platform or like as a sort of divider between areas. It looks beautiful. But more. Oh, so this whole area. Maybe the museum's like kind of a temple, maybe? Maybe that's the idea. Because it's within this graveyard area. Oh, is this where the graveyard technically starts from here? <laughs> ah, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh my god, look at this area. I, don't, I guess I should go... And South and then work my way back up north, maybe? Ah, another rice paddy area! I love it when people use soil bags. Like the soil bags. Have some designs. Look at this, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Can't stop saying it! Uh, this is, I don't know which... Should we go up here first? <laughs> I don't know. Is it we've been this way, but... I guess we'll loop back round to resident services this way, maybe? Go this way. I love that she's just kind of scattered the rocks in between at different places. 
got like a little mushroom area, a little overrun plant area. There's some evil systems here. Again, we're in a sort of town. Definitely, this is like I think the most rural uh, Japanese island I've been on. It just feels like you are in the middle of nowhere. Got this giant dish behind. I've never. I've wondered where I could use it. I've never found a place. For the dish. Wow. Wow. This is so beautiful. <laughs> So clever, so clever, so simple but so clever. Well, it's not simple, is it? I just, it just doesn't feel overly complex. It doesn't feel overcrowded, is what I want to say. It feels cluttered but not overcrowded. It looks so overrun. I love it. A little doggy area. Oh, it, hello, Ringa. Welcome. Thank you. I feel very welcome. Ah, oh, she's wearing the Hello Kitty dress. Cute. Oh, this is just so much inspo. So much inspo. Hello, Marina. <laughs> We've got some oil drums here. A little crab. Oh, this is so cool. We've got a little lighthouse. Place to just sit and relax. I could sit here all day, honestly. Oh, this is incredible. Um, a place for people to relax on the beach. Wait, are we all, all the way at the back already? Ah, <laughs> it feels so short and yet so long. I'm just like completely uh, disorientated at where I am. Amazing. Okay, let's continue with the tour. I don't think I've seen the yellow lifeguard chair. This looks really pretty. Oh my god, what is this area? <laughs> oh my god, what a stark contrast to the rest of her island. Oh, and we've got... Oh, looks like we have a viewing platform to it too. But oh my goodness, because this looks so not abandoned. This looks like the kind of the, the perfect preened and looked after Zen garden, Japanese style garden, where you could just sit with your friends and have some tea and just chat whilst looking at the beautiful, beautiful surroundings. I'd love to eat some like warabi mochi back here. It would be so delicious, especially in this. I feel like a place does affect how delicious the food is. I mean, I'm not saying that it needs to be a really fancy place, but... Oh my god, this is so pretty! This is so different from the rest of her island! Oh my god! This is like... Upper class... Oh, and we almost went to it! Look, we almost went to it! Wow! It's like a temple. This is, um... Who is this? This... Draco's place? Marty's? No. It looks like Draco's place, but she didn't have Draco, did she? Oh, it's Toby's place. That's who I meant, not Marty. To it is Toby's house. Okay, Toby's house. Wow, turned into some sort of temple area. I love the Kerobi snack. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, and the art and the other Kerobi. What's this called? hallway i think it's called and we have the new year's um oh my god what it's called the new year's food <laughs> mochi thing and up here we have we go back oh this is oh this is where it goes to oh my god so it's connected so there's like a graveyard this is the temple that the graveyard is in Wow, let's have a look at this area from up here. So pretty. I love the custom design on the ground of the stones and the rocks. God. Yes! Yes! I love it! Oh my goodness. I wanna live here? <laughs> I mean, I live in Japan, so I, 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 I guess I kind of do live here, but... I want to live in this fantastical version of Japan. This is incredible! Okay, I'm gonna run back to the front because we missed a bit at the front. Okay, I made it back to this area at the front, just in front of resident services. And look at this! <laughs> I love the little um, clay model of a dinosaur. Beautiful, we've even got some pumpkins growing on the road. Wow. 
Just look at it. It's so perfect. Mohenga, you're so talented. Wow. It's so beautiful. We have Abel's up here. We kind of came across up there before. We got some solar panels here. I love the trees. I love the nature everywhere. I love abandoned buildings, like abandoned places. Hey Marty! And we've got a little children's play area here on the beach. Oh my god, does this pipe go somewhere? But first let's look at her house! Wow! Again, this feels a little bit more like it's not so abandoned. It, it still looks it has the same kind of vibe and I guess we have got some trash over here but there's something about this area to the right that looks looked after and pretty and just incredible. Hey Rudy! So the front is just uh, well, so another lovely place to relax and a place to fish. Oh my god everyone's here! <laughs> and we've got just ooh I really like the use of these uh, what are they called? Grass standees here. And we can just sit and um, fish for, you know, the sharks in summer. I love this design of this cushion. It looks very vintage. I love it. I wonder where else she's used it on her island or if it's just this cushion that's that, that design. Sorry, Marty. Sorry. Let's go through here again. Inside, I guess. Wow, look at this! So pretty! Oh. <laughs> very kind of like cottage? Cottage core? I don't know. It looks very like a cottage. Very like homely, very rustic. So, so pretty. Let's have a look what's back here. Whoa! This is a this is a very much stark contrast to the rest of the island. Oh my god. Wow! I guess that Marang loves loves the mermaid items because this is a beautiful homage to it. Oh I can't lay on it. Wow! It's so shiny and pastel, my goodness. It was a sh it's a shock to the senses and I love the use of the art back there. Oh my goodness, beautiful. <laughs> and some wedding items in there as well, subtly kind of dotted in. I love it. And I love how green this is actually. I love the carpet, where is this? Oh Savannah, she's holding back on me. She's not giving me the, the best rugs. I always go to people's houses and they're like, where are these rugs? Oh my goodness. I guess we should have guessed with the presents that she left that she is a Hello Kitty fan. This is so cute. What a beautiful little playroom. Wow, and the Easter items and the... Wait, when did we get these? Festival? Were, the, were they the festival items? <laughs> I can't remember now. The tents anyway. Beautiful. I'm gonna check upstairs. I'm not 100% sure if she's um, finished upstairs as this seems to be blocked off. Wow! <laughs> this is so pretty! Wow! I love the socks on the floor. It really adds to the like lived-in feeling. Obviously some sort of music fan here, got a lot of KK stuff on the walls. Just playing, you know, the classic, the Welcome to Horizons. And oh, also got his poster as well. I love this theming, it's so pastel and I love the sunflower carpet, or rug, <laughs> as most people like to say. Beautiful bed, everything's such like beautiful like birch color. Beautiful. And let's check the basement. Each room is so well themed. Wow! Okay we're back to Japan. We're back slap bang in an onsen. A hot spring, a Japanese hot spring. Wow it's so beautiful. This is a very fancy onsen. <laughs> very very fancy hot spring here. Wow! 
So either side we have a hot spring, um, an onsen, and we've got a lovely place in the middle where you can eat with your family or your friends, whoever you come in here with. I guess it's for three. It's a, it's a room for three. Everything's in threes. <laughs> the three slippers, three... Oh, except for... Okay, we've got two sinks, but <laughs> three seats. This is such great inspo for my Japanese style island. Oh my god, this is amazing. I love interiors so much. I need to get back into them. That's actually the first few videos on my channel. If you stuck around since then, thank you so much. I, I can't believe you're still here, but um, yeah, I first did an onsen and my kitchen, actually. Oh my god, this island! Rangit, thank you so much. And I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go back. There's so many spots that I could choose on this island, but I'm gonna go back to one of my favorites. I will see you guys there. Okay, so that was the incredible island of Hirugashi, and it was... what a ride. What a ride. I've been incredibly lucky to come to this beautiful island. Thank you so much, Moringa. I am so appreciative that you let me do this island tour. Yeah, you are so incredibly talented. Everyone, please do go follow her on Instagram, and she has a Twitter as well. I will put it in the description down below. Um, yeah, I've been blown away. So much inspo for my island. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you want to see more videos by me, hit that subscribe button. If you want to help support me, feel free to become a member to become a tea leaf or a gold tea leaf. Here are my VIP gold tea leaves. Thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.